sure that I think it's proprietary. So it, I tell everybody it's you just have to let let you know it's proprietary and to use Chase's name. Monitors facing the street should never be a thing in any bank in America. You can't take pictures. You silly goose, of course I can. No, you can't. What? Sorry. Are you, are you, let's say, are you uh, casing the place? Want to know where our cameras are at? That's a fine question. Yes, right? to, to maybe bust see a in bunch and, of cameras and, up uh, there. Rob the bank. And the police are coming too. Sweet. I was told to call. A police? Somebody told you to call the police on a man with a camera on the sidewalk? Yeah. That's weird. Hey, Joe, long time no see. I don't suppose Adam's here, is he? Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. You know, we had so much fun last time in Athens, Ohio, we decided to come back. For, are you trespassing me from the post office? So you arrest me for trespassing yep. if I do not leave this post yep. office. The postmaster wants you off the property. You, as a supervisor, a supervisor, you are telling me that if I don't leave the post office simply because I was taking photographs, that I will be arrested. You're law enforcement. You are not feelings enforcement. It's your job to enforce the law. I'm not breaking the law. Your attempts to subvert my constitutional rights aren't going to go over well for you today. So is there a about... sign in here that says that he can photograph in here? It's some federal statute. They got like a whole YouTube channel. They go. They literally just drive city to city and do it. My name's actually Mike Norton. I'm with KULT News. I'd like to know why you're trying to violate my constitutional rights. So here we are, Athens, Ohio. This is the uh, the Athens, Ohio City Hall. Uh, now, before we pop into the City Hall, I wanted to show you something they have down here. Kind of a little a little uh, ode to photography. It's right, literally, right across the street from City Hall. And I appreciate this. I'm gonna hit this in both angles. As a big fan of photography. I think this is pretty cool. Look at that, see, huh? go this is the Athens photographic project there you go pause and read that if you're going the other way you can see every one of these photos it says who took the photo and uh, and and what if if anything uh, they named the photo see so very cool. I like this. I like this a lot. There you go. Hey, you know, this is my favorite thing too, right there. My favorite thing about photography is capturing that moment when you see something that you want to share with others. I've got things here in Athens, Ohio, I want to share with you guys. Let's see how this goes. We're going in the city hall. Lovely Rita. Wait, you're not Rita. It's a joke, the, the meter made joke. But some people don't appreciate my humor. This building was erected in 1874 and it was restored the year I was born. Look at that, 1968. Huh? Bada boom. So hey, I couldn't help but notice it. There's, there's a city hall there and literally just right up the street is a Chase Bank. And I was kind of shocked when I walked past this window to see that they've got their monitor facing the sidewalks. So anybody that walks by can see this gal in here working away. I'd see how long it takes for her to notice me outside on the sidewalk taking pictures. <laughs> 
and shut the blinds. This should be amusing. Look at this. Now, if I wanted to, I could literally see everything that woman's doing in there. If I wanted to. Oh, yeah, here's, a, here's another one. See, now that should be a security concern for anybody who, who banks at Chase Bank. It seems to me that this should definitely be a security concern. Um, I mean, it concerns me, and I'm not even a, a Chase Bank customer. So I can only imagine how much something like this could upset somebody if they were, in fact, a Chase Bank customer. I don't know. Um, yeah, she's she definitely noticed me. That's... Let's see how long it takes before somebody comes out and says something, though. Here comes a gal now. Let's see. Let's see if she has anything to say. Hey, how you doing? Very good, thank you. Good. Are you just filming the building for a certain reason? Or? Filming the building for a very specific reason. Is yes. It a class project. It is not a class project. I am. I am many years out of school. <laughs> no, no, not a class project. This little story I'm doing on on uh, Chase Bank. Okay. And they're uh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Nothing fancy. All right, just wanted to check. Now, what do you think the chances are that this gal called the cops on me? Let's find out, shall we? We're gonna set this up right here and let's see if she turns her camera, or rather her, her monitor. See, there you go. You turn the monitor off so the average Joe walking by on the sidewalk can't see everything that's on your monitor. I mean, generally speaking, it seems to me if you're if you're in a bank, you probably don't want to have your monitors facing the sidewalk where anybody can walk by and get the information. I'm hoping after this footage goes online that this bank changes their security procedures because what they have going on right now in my opinion, as a non-Chase Bank customer, it's absolutely unacceptable. If I was a Chase customer, well, I'll be frank with you, I'd be pretty flaming pissed to see this kind of cavalier attitude regarding, see, there you go. See, now they close the, the blinds. That is how they should operate business anytime they're in there on the monitors. Good for them. That's how it should be done. That's how it should be done. Don't mind me. How are you? How are you? Good, I'm Dave. My name's Mike. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet Pleasure, you. sir. They said you were doing a story possibly? On I Chase. am indeed, indeed, doing a little story on uh, on, on Chase Bank. Okay. You, are you the manager here? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's something that I probably should come out to meet you. Is uh, Chase sponsored? No, 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 I, I don't, I, I'll be honest with you, Dave, I don't think Chase will like this story. Um, if you're recording me too, then that... I most definitely am recording I, you, I'm, I'm, I'm recording everything here. I just want to make sure that, I think it's proprietary, so it, I tell everybody it's, you just have to let, let you know it's proprietary and to use Chase's name, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, I don't know, if I made a video and I showed Chase on the side of it, I, I don't think there's anything you could do legally to prevent me from documenting signage on the outside of the building. My my larger concern 
if I was a bank manager, it would be it would be every monitor in here facing the street where anybody could walk by. Between you and I, I could have just gotten some ridiculously sensitive confidential information and monitors facing the street should never be a thing in any bank in America. So it just, just something to consider. Um, uh, fortunately, I am not a, I am not a, uh, I mean, I'm not the kind of person that would take sensitive information and risk going to jail with it, but there are many people who would. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Anyway, so just something to keep in mind. They they, they might want to, I don't know, think of a, a different way to handle that, turn the desk or something or other. In my opinion, it's fairly rare to see banks that have monitors facing the sidewalk and anybody can walk by, you know, and I could get crap with this thing, but like if I pulled this phone out or this camera out and started taking photos, close-up photos of the monitors and things they had on the monitors. I'd be careful taking video. Just to make sure that. Well, I mean, it's not a public sidewalk, so obviously I can take video I want, but, but just, I would, I would, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe, I don't know, move the desks or something or another just for, future security issues I there's certainly no issue with me and I'm not sharing anything confidential but I suspect I suspect that they could be seen we got another bank here let's check and see how paranoid these people are Yeah, we got a gal coming out here. Oh. Hi. Hi. Were you taking pictures from in here? You, well, I was taking pictures from out here. Yes. In, but you're taking pictures. Yes. From yes. I'm sorry, but are you? Who are you? I'm sorry. Who am I? Do you have permission from anybody? I do indeed. Yes. The United States Constitution, First Amendment. Oh, but you can't take pictures. You silly goose, of course I can. No, you can't, but, sorry. But, okay. But yet I am. In fact, yeah, well, shouldn't be. in fact, I'm taking more pictures right now. You silly goose, seriously, of course you can take pictures in the bank. It's a public sidewalk. I could stand here and take pictures in there all I want. I'm sorry? It's for security reasons for the bank. So, you're bank security reason like if somebody's let me ask you this are you are you let's say are you uh, casing the place we'll know where our cameras are at that's a fine question yes right? to, to maybe bust see a in bunch and, of cameras and, up uh, there rob the bank that would be something else wouldn't it rob the bank i guess i guess it would be kind of handy to case the place first get uh pictures of where all the cameras are and stuff i just assume that every bank has cameras up the wazoo though don't they i mean I would think that standing outside, I mean, this way, if it's a security issue for somebody to stand out on the public sidewalk and look in at the cameras, you guys might want to reassess your security here because that, it concerns, it concerns me that it concerns you that somebody walking by on the sidewalk taking photos could somehow be a security risk. I just, that's very strange to me. I bet you if I stand like this, I can actually see what's on the monitors. Let me see. Wow. Yeah, that's something else. Are you recording inside the bank, ma'am? That's against the rules. No. <laughs> Are you casing this joint? I'm just seeing what's going on and taking footage. <laughs> Now, I'm not a gambling man, but if I was a gambling man, 
I would gamble that right now, a phone call is being made to the police, probably 911, about little old me being out on the sidewalk taking photos. Crazy. What? Athens City Police. Hi, this is Marilyn, and I'm calling from the Hocking Valley Bank on Court Street. Um, can you send somebody down there? I was told to call the guy that he's taking pictures. I know he's on the sidewalk, but he's inside the bank and or, t or taking pictures at the inside of the bank. And when I told him he couldn't, you know, he had to give me the whole spiel and everything. And talked to Tammy at the main office, and she said to go ahead and and call you guys to have somebody. Come you went and trespassed. Um. Well, he's on the sidewalk, but you know, he's he's. When I told him he couldn't, he's taking pictures through the window in the inside to the, you know, taking pictures of the inside. Okay. We'll send someone that way. But, yeah. So, okay. All right. Thanks. That's America in 2023. You walk down the sidewalk taking photos. Some people kind of lose their freaking minds. What can I do about it? Now, of course, Anybody watching this video can, can tell. I can't see anything on the monitors inside there. And 90% of what I'm seeing when I look in these windows is literally just a reflection off the windows. I, I, can, I can see what's going across the street. Like I can stand right here. and I can, I can see myself crystal clear, plain as day. But can I see what's on the monitors inside this bank? Is there anything I can see through these windows that realistically is an actual security risk for this bank? Well, God, I hope not. I mean, what the hell kind of a bank has information out that's so easily accessible to the public that, that it puts them at risk of a robbery or something or another if somebody should happen to take a photograph of it? I, that just makes no sense to me. So, bless her little heart, you know what? takes all kinds I guess we're gonna go ahead and walk down the street here a little slow and let's just see if a police officer shows up because I have a feeling I have a feeling that somebody called the cops on us let's see on the outside of this building so they have three cameras on the outside of the building recording everybody that walks by and that is not a problem but as soon as somebody is walking by aims a camera at them that's when there's a problem now there's a gal on there on the phone the one that came out is on the phone so I suspect that she's calling the police Let's go ahead and stick around and find out, shall we? Nothing but reflection here. Heck yeah! Security Absolutely! Yeah! And the police are coming too! Sweet! I was told to call. A Somebody told you to call the police on a mount of the camera on the sidewalk? Yeah. That's weird. Well, I'm taking pictures of the inside from the outside. Yeah, so I'm, I'm curious. So may I ask your, your, your name? Marilyn. Marilyn, my name is Mike. Let me ask you. Why do you think somebody on the sidewalk with a camera warrants a phone call to the police where more people with cameras and guns will show up? Are you guys under the impression that what I am doing is illegal? Oh, I'll bless it. Well, I look for then the police showing up. I am 99.9% .9 sure that whoever told you to call the police will get an education today on the First Amendment. This is what we call a constitutionally protected activity. It basically means the Constitution, you know, 
reaffirms it, it codifies my right to stand on a public sidewalk taking photos and videos of literally anything I can see. There's an old saying, if you can see it, you can shoot it. That, of course, referring to photography. I would, I would ask in the framework of them having cameras outside of their establishment, where does that film? Does it film people walking by all day on the sidewalk in public? And what do you do with that footage? But it does help because, you know, in case we do get robbed. Have you guys ever been robbed here that you know of? Yeah, yeah has this branch ever been robbed? I imagine uh, and Athens. We have helped other businesses out. Yeah. They have been yeah, there's there's multiple cameras out here that record everybody walking by. I just find it, I find it amusing that. Everything the, I've been trained since I've been here, I've been told not to let anybody take pictures. But from the sidewalk, though, I mean, I understand if like if I walk in there and you're like, hey, you can't take pictures in yeah, here. No. So I mean, it's I've, just. I've sent people away that's been in the parking lot too. It's that's just silly. What? Same. But is there a parking lot like out back? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. If it's privately on a parking lot or Yeah, yeah. And a, and a privately owned parking lot for a private business would absolutely be, you know, you you would, you'd certainly have every right to, to tell somebody you can't stand in our parking lot and take photos. But there's definitely no law against standing on a public sidewalk taking photos. So, but, you know, I, I typically we would wait for the police to show up and make sure that, that, we're all on the same page when it comes to... No, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I got no problem with that, Marilyn. Ah, oh, don't worry about us. Thank you, sir. It's hot as heck out here, huh? Isn't it? It's kind of a shame somebody vandalized that... that... thing up there. What is that? That mural up there? Look at that beautiful mural. Yeah, it's been that way. And some schmuck rights. Did I say Arab? I think so. Not cool. Not cool. No, A-C-A... A-C-A-B. A-C-A-B? Oh, is it A-C-A-B? What does that mean? Oh, is it bad? Yeah. Is it like a filthy? It's a slur. It seems like it's a slur. A C A B? Do you know what A C A B stands for? I just, I, do you know what A C A B stands for? Is yeah. it? It's a slur. Is it bad? Right? What is yeah. it? It's, it's not as. Uh, yeah. What is it? What's it one word? It means all cops are. Oh, all cops are. are bastards. bastards. Oh my gosh. There you go. There you go. Well, like I say, so far, okay, so ACAB, I guess I should know this, but I don't. All cops are, I'm assuming it's bitches or something like that. I don't know. All I know is, is, is that I disagree. I disagree. She thinks it's something else. Really? It might have multiple meanings. Let's Google that when we get home. So, I mean, so far with this visit to Athens, Ohio, I have not found a single police officer that did not uphold their oath and behave in an exemplary manner. However, those of you watching may recall the last time we were in Athens, Ohio, we had a lieutenant, Lieutenant Simpson, who was woefully ignorant of the laws and he had to be educated and sent on his way I think he was very sad that he couldn't put me in handcuffs and take away my freedom that day, but sorry. Officer Simpson, if you're watching this, I don't know about all cops are, you know, the, the B word, but I will definitely say that you, sir, Lieutenant Simpson, you are a bad cop, a bad cop. You violate people's rights, or you certainly try to. You were unsuccessful in violating my rights the last time I was in Athens. And I'm kind of hoping between you and me that you're the lucky officer that shows up to this, to this call. Because if you are, with you being as grossly incompetent and moronic as you are, Officer or Lieutenant Simpson, I suspect you'll try to violate my rights again. And once again, you will be unsuccessful. Uh, that's my little speech to Lieutenant Simpson. I, I really, really hope Lieutenant Simpson comes out because we're going to teach him a second lesson. All right. They'll show up eventually, Marilyn. Yeah. So we're going to stick around. Marilyn has called the police on us for standing on the sidewalk taking photos, so we're going to see how this works out for Marilyn. Should be a good time. Should be a good time.
I'll just chill out here and wait. We're gonna wait for the friendly neighborhood police officers to show up. And on the slim chance, the person that vandalized that beautiful mural up there is watching this video. You, sir or ma'am, are a complete piece of crap. It's a beautiful mural and you have defaced it with your obscenities. I hope they catch you and I hope you go to jail. Vandalism is not cool, kids. It's also illegal. However, you know what's not illegal? Standing on a public sidewalk, taking pictures. God bless America. She's just following orders, I understand. I mean, that's, that's what the Nazis did. They just followed orders. So, I'm curious, Marilyn, if, if the bank said, hey, we have a policy, if anybody walks by with a yarmulke, an obviously Jewish person, you're supposed to call the police on them? Or is it just the free press part of the First Amendment that Hawking Valley Bank has a problem with? You know? I mean, like, freedom of assembly and freedom of religion and all that. I'm just, I'm just curious. I don't know. I mean, it seems like if it's a if it's a problem with a free press, it seems like free speech and, you know, freedom of religion also might be a problem for Hawking Valley Bank. So I'm going to go on record here and say that I will bet $100 that if and when the police show up, that they leave and I'm still standing here when they're gone. If I lose that bet, if I am somehow forced out of this spot by the police, I will donate $100 to whatever charity of Marilyn's choice she chooses. Marilyn, do you have a favorite charity? Jones Hospital. So if the police are successful in running me off, I'm going to donate $100 to the Children's Hospital. Now, unfortunately, uh, if I win that bet, which I will, I'm pretty sure Marilyn's not going to donate $100 to my favorite charity, but I think both of us have the same charity, so it doesn't really matter. You know what? I might donate $100 to the Children's Hospital just for funsies. But what I won't do, though, is vacate a spot on the public sidewalk where I'm taking photographs because Hawking Bank is paranoid and doesn't like people taking photographs on the public sidewalk. That's entirely possible. They called the police and the police told them this is not an emergency. Don't bother us with such stupid things. We'll see. Time will tell. And FYI, if you're hearing these clicking noises, I know people in the past have thought it was like a... Uh, like a ballpoint pen that I was clicking. That's not the case. It's actually the uh, the camera. Um, I could actually deactivate the clicking noise, you know, the shutter sound. I'll be frank with you, I kind of like it. Um, so I'm trying to reduce the number of photographs I take with this thing when I'm near the other camera so that that camera doesn't pick up the constant clicking noise. Sounds like a fire engine. Oh, no, that's the cops. They're probably responding to a report of uh, like a guy with like three cameras and I've only got two. They got their priorities straight. You go get the three camera guy first before you get the two camera guy. So I suspect, I suspect maybe the police in Athens, Ohio learned their lesson last time, you know, when they made fools of themselves at the local post office. So maybe that's why they're not showing up. I don't know. Let's go ahead and stick around and find out though. We got all day.
Hey, did you tell him I have two cameras? Tell him I have two cameras. Maybe they'll come faster. I have two cameras. Can you, can you tell him I have three cameras now? Yeah, three cameras. There's three of them. One, two, three. Three cameras. If you tell them I have three cameras, they might come faster. Hey, does anybody have a like a fourth camera I could borrow? I really feel like if I had if I had four cameras, I think that'd be the deal breaker. I think that's when the SWAT team would be uh, would be arriving. As right now, though, it's just just one guy with three cameras a little disappointed I'll be honest with you maybe Lieutenant Simpson is uh, working today and he was uh, concerned about making a fool of himself again so he decided to you know maybe pass on this one Officer Simpson I really want you to come I'd like to have a few words with you <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant Simpson. You're in leadership, sir. Let's come back. You know, you really do have to appreciate the the audacity of a business. A business has three three cameras on the outside of the building aimed at the sidewalk and people walking along, you have to appreciate the audacity of them getting pissy when somebody on the sidewalk aims a camera at them. Really? Really? There you go. There you go. There you go. And that, folks, is how you create your own privacy. It's not a new invention. It's been around for thousands of years. It's called blinds. You lower the blinds, people can't see inside. You know, I actually missed one of the cameras here. So let's count all the cameras that actually face out here on the sidewalk. You've got, you got one. It's gonna be one in the ATM. That's two. You got three. You got four. And then you got five right inside the door there, if you can see that there. There's five right there. So, five cameras aimed at the sidewalk or out towards the sidewalk. I walk by with one camera aimed back at them, and suddenly it's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Return to the scene of the crime. Dun dun dun. Hey Joe, long time no see. I don't suppose Adam's here, is he? Is Adam's not here? Oh, no, I'm sorry. oh dang it! I was just gonna swing by and see if he uh, if he wanted to redeem himself for the abysmal performance he made last time when I came in here. You remember he called the police on me. Were you here then? Called the police on me for showing up here with the camera? Yeah, I'm not really. I don't. Remember. Yeah. Well, 100,000 people have seen him make a fool of himself over the last three weeks. So I'm hoping Adam has learned his lesson. If not, I don't know. Have you seen the video, Joe? I've it. Yeah, it's quite amusing. So sorry, anyways, I'm leaving. This is very terribly nervous. She's, she's terribly nervous, so she's out of here. Cameras freak her out, apparently. Anyways, tell Adam I said hi. I'm sorry? Very odd. 
Well, now I'm recording you. Nobody ever showed up at the other Hawking Valley Bank to uh, to bother me after they said they were calling the police. We're outside of uh, we're outside of another branch of Hawking Valley Bank, and uh, you know I saw them scrambling around a little bit inside, but I didn't see uh, much of a response. Clearly, this time the police in Athens, Ohio, had better things to do. Mike Norton. KULT News, Athens, Ohio. They've got some very cool, natural looking benches out here. Beautiful, beautiful. I like it. Look at that. In the spring of 1797, Rufus Putnam sent 11 substantial men possessing firmness of character, courage, and discretion they found a settlement on the bank of the Hawk Hawking River. In 1800, the ter territorial legislature named the community Athens. And in 1811, the village was incorporated. In 1912, the population exceeded 5,000 and Athens officially became a city. Very nice. They got some cool art in here as well. Pop in here. Oh, there you go. He's a list of all the mayors of Athens. And the most recent one, of course, is Stephen Patterson. I hear good things about Mr. Patterson. I'm going to show you, show you something very cool that I have never seen in a city hall or a mayor's office in my life. So I'll give Mr. Patterson, Mayor Patterson, some kudos for this. Check this out. Boom. If you look closely, you can see their cards all have, they're in braille as well. You got, I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. Look at that. They have braille on their business cards. And it looks like they all are safety director, blah, blah, blah. Look at that. They're all in braille. Very cool. Very cool. All right, that's a lovely photo. Now check this out. I'm not sure what the scoop is on this thing. Oh. The official flower of the city of Athens. Huh. That's kind of cute, look at that. If you zoom in, you can see people signed it and stuff. Seems like a very friendly little community here. This is Athens City Hall. Now they do have public restrooms here. If you were to go upstairs on the second floor, you'd find uh, public restrooms down the hallway. gonna take a little oh wait a second I have to go upstairs now and see I want to see if it's possible to actually get up to the very top of this thing and see out the vestibule is that what it's called as many of you know I am a big I think this is locked no oh, I'm a big fan of historical architecture Hi, just two quick questions for you. Okay, numero, you numero uno, what is the name of the city prosecutor and is there more than one of them? Um, yeah, we have a chief city prosecutor, 
Uh, who's the chief city prosecutor? Tracy Meek. Do you by chance have Tracy's business card? Um, yeah, have a seat out there. I'll see if Thanks. I can. Uh oh, uh oh. Can I swipe any pieces of candy here? Thank you. Look at that. It's not, not even Halloween. Trick or treat. I got I to gotta see something. This is. Oh, see, I'm disappointed. No Braille on this one. That's okay. We'll, we'll forgive Tracy. <laughs> All the ones downstairs, they're, they have Braille on them. Did you know that? I did not. The, check it out. I, I, I've never seen this in before in my life. Uh, and I've been to a lot of city halls and what have you. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They're all in Braille. Very, very cool. That's very cool. I, I, I have several uh, blind friends, and, and uh, I think they would be elated to hear that there's city halls that actually cover that. So, hey, tell Tracy. May I ask Tracy, man or woman? Just a female. I, you never know. With a name like Tracy, it's... Yeah. yeah so, all right. Hey, thanks. You're welcome.